We're here. We are here. We're here. We are here. This is the World of Controversy podcast, the podcast that gives you all forms of controversy. Episode 36. Episode 36. Absolutely. We are back. We are back in the mix. Back from a little hiatus. I don't feel, I feel so much better now that we're back, Julian. I'm oh, telling you. Oh, yeah, it's just Now, they changed the setting in our studio. So that's why you see there's no other, um, the table that we usually have. We on some couches. Um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This ain't like the biggest hype of it, but hey, we're here. We are here. Let me tell you something. We're the Controversy Podcast, a podcast you can listen to on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and everywhere you get your podcasts. And yes, if you listen, if you listen to us on YouTube, watch us, you can tell that the camera's a little different, the setup's a little different. Um, you can also watch us on uh, soon Odyssey and uh, Bitchu. We're going to be on yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We're working out some kinks right now, but we're about to be on Odyssey and Bitchu. The rest of the podcast will be on there. Of course, of course. Episode 36, my name is Brother Germ Griffin. We got Julian Rob on the track. Julian, how you feeling today? I am feeling great, Jerem. Amazing. Um, out here, I'm surviving. I'm alive. Okay. Yes. I'm living by the Spirit right now, Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, hey, yes. Amen. Yes, the Spirit. Being spiritually led. That is something that I've been, like, passionate about, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. Speaking of spiritually led, I heard we got a spiritual episode today. Mm, yes, we do. Very spiritual. Okay. Right, what are we talking about? We're talking about should you give to the poor? Give mm. to all the poor people out there. There's so much of them. Yeah, there's a lot of poor people out here. Um, I, You know, as you know, we live in Philadelphia, um, greater Philadelphia area, all that stuff. And right here, um, we I think we're in the biggest poor city. Right? One of the biggest poorest cities. I don't know if it's in the, the country. Poorest. It's the poorest of the big cities. There we go. The poorest of the big cities, um, population wise. So, um, yeah, it's it's something and we definitely see homeless people. I got some people I know for sure, um, is uh, oh. homeless. And uh yeah. They Quan call. They Quan call Detroit. Yeah. Detroit. Detroit, is that yep. the poorest of the uh, big ones? Yeah, that would yep. make sense. Detroit is bad, down bad. Daquan, what's up? Um, we are reading comments. Of course, you can follow us on Instagram, WOC underscore podcast. So, um, as we talk about this topic, you know, I, I actually did talk to some homeless people, got their opinion on this. And um, it's, it's definitely kind of controversial, even in uh, Christian circles, and definitely something debatable. Um, as you know, we're all called to, you know, give out the gospel as Christians and to um, love one another as you love yourself. But, um, you know, they're, you know, you out with other Christians and then you see someone homeless and what happens? You know, one person is called or believes, you know, if there's money in your pocket, you need, you need to be giving it out to that person. You know, especially if that person asks. Um, there's a Bible verse in uh, Matthew 7 that goes as far as to say, Ask and you shall receive. receive. Knock and the door it will be, be answered. Open. Yeah, open. Okay, yeah. Ask and, the que- and it shall be answered unto you, correct? Yes. So, um, and that's Jesus' words. And um, hopefully right. this, this episode become a very scripture-led, um, spirit-led episode. Um, and uh, I think, I th- you know... That, first off, I want to say this. Before we go any further, the economy back then, in Jesus' time, Abraham's time, Moses' time, all the prophets, that's not the economy we got now. There's a lot of things similar, but right now we live in what some people would call late-stage capitalism. You know what I mean? Late-stage capitalism? Capitalism, yes. Um, okay. When it was back then, I think they were more under the barter system. Uh, merchant merchantilism, uh, you know, and at the end of the day, we all know that um, if you don't have capital, you're poor. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, 
So that's what's going on. You know what I mean? We use capital nowadays and buy a house, buy insurance, buy this, buy that, you know. And, uh, you know, whether or not that was happening back then, we know for sure from the Bible that um, there were people back then who were poor. You know what I mean? Um, so how did we deal with that situation? Oh, the Quan call says, similar to days of Noah. Similar to the days of Noah. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's, what is that? That's Genesis, right? Genesis, yes. Yeah, Genesis. so that's, he talking about some ancient stuff. Um, the days of Noah was a very wicked time. Oh, very. Yeah, very wicked time. And again, I, d I don't know too much about the economic system they were under during the days of Noah. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Rob, when last time you saw a homeless person and did you give? Oh, man, I see homeless people every day. What you mean? Every every single day? Every single day. You know, there's always somebody out there on the streets, brother. Brother, brother. So you're giving out money every day, correct? Um, I'm going to be real. I'm not giving out money every day. So you got 20s that you're throwing to the homeless folk, right? I ain't saying I'm giving out 20s to these homeless people. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. Uh, look, I I'll be know. real. I'm being real. I give, all right? But I can't give to every single one. Why not? Because if I do that, I go broke. I won't have nothing. I, I, do. Can, I need something for me, too. You do? Yes. Really? I got to pay my bills. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. Will oh, be I seek. I seek the kingdom. But the guy didn't say give to every homeless person. Really? He said give to the poor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but hold. Did we give to everyone? And wait, wait, wait. I'm about to bring more controversy. What about those that's on drugs? Okay. What about them? So do we give to them? You you tell me, brother. Because you, you tell me it, what Galatians six says. What Galatians six says. Yeah, I you told you I'm bringing up some scripture today. <laughs> you are going Galatians because, six because because yeah. you can debate all day. Let's debate the Bible. Let's debate the Bible. Let's, let's debate go. the Bible. Let's the go. good let's book. Go. Galatians six, uh, verse one, verse two. Galatians 6, verse 1. Brethren, if any man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Now, last time I checked, when you were poor, that's a whole nother burden, is it not, brother? Oh, oh, oh. So did wait, that wait, verse wait, not wait, say, wait. help bear that burden, brother? He bear the burden? But it didn't say about me giving to all the homeless people. I can give them a lot. I give them my time. Oh, that's that's giving them something. Whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. Proverbs 21, 13. Woo. Wake them up today. What they Quan talking about? I see they some Quan. She said, giving doesn't always have to be financial. Oh, thank you. You're like my that. point. You can give a good word or talk. LOL. I like that. That spiritual aspect. She said, I got to come on here. Definitely been doing my Bible study. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll get you on here, Daquan. Daquan, man. Um, Daquan is a very smart brother. Yeah, I went to school with him. More power to Daquan. Um... Uh, Listen, dog, at the end of the day, let me talk about something, man. Let's talk about it. Let's, Let's talk, talk about it, brother. It. You have enough money for someone poor to see you and ask for bread. I have. Yes, I do. Now I've never do had a homeless person ask me for money. I mean, uh, excuse me. I You're never lying. asked. I never asked. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a straight up lie. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever asked a homeless person for money. Have you? No, but who asked? Why wouldn't you? But why, who asked a homeless person for money? If you're so down bad, why have you not asked a homeless person for money? Because they don't got no money to give me. Mm, so if you, I'm down so bad. So wait a minute, if they asking you, then you got some what to give them. 
I got loose. Uh, I I got, hold on, hold on. Don't be trying to twist it, because I know how you try to twist it. Uh, uh, no, 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 Because I know you be trying to twist things. Bro. Now, you can be down bad, right? Have a little bit of money. But doesn't mean you got enough to share with the homeless. They are homeless. You on your way about to be homeless. So how am I giving my money to somebody and I'm about to be where you're at. Hey, man, well, you might as well get your cardboard box and get set up right down there with him, <laughs> yeah. man. Come on, yo. No, I'm trying to save my home. What you mean? Don't make me. Oh, man. I thought you were the one preaching collective economics, brother. But that's Collect- the black stuff. Hold on, Sorry, did the spiritual hold on, hold on. episode. I forgot Collect- what you meant. Economics. <laughs> Okay, I, I do be speaking the collective economics, but we not on the collective economics level yet. Yeah, right. but, but wouldn't this not help get to that level? I mean, how? Somebody with no money, with somebody with very little money. <laughs> I'm just saying. Woo! I, 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 let, let me, let me, I'm just let saying. Me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. How about this? How about this? Right? That verse you gave out from Galatians okay. is not related to this, what our topic's about. But I'm going to say this. Because giving to the poor, yes. The Bible does say he that gives to, to the poor is a friend of the Lord. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yes, I do agree with giving to the poor. I have given to the poor. I have given to homeless people. I have brought people... Something to eat when they needed something to eat, brethren. Mm. I had brought these homeless food. Mm. I had brought brothers that came straight out of jail with no jobs. Oh, they needed some. They asked for something to eat. They ain't even asked for me. They just said, "You just give me something to eat." I said, "Brother, I got you." Wow. I know how the system got you. I know. I know, brother. But I'm I'm wanna I wanna talk about something because you're you you talking about the wholesome homeless person and all them wasn't you know what I mean I wanna go into the people that other people are not giving to. There's a there's um you know what I mean I wanna talk about the dirty drug addict mental health mm. person even the prostitutes are you giving to them and my no. co- now you hit him my level. Okay, but well, let's hit him while I was about to hit it. Why should I give to a drug person to get drugs? <laughs> oh, 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 he got silent and he turned to his phone. Proverbs nineteen seventeen. You better be on point with what you say, brother, because we all air. New international version. You know, I like both of them, but uh, I think this version uh, for this verse <laughs> will, will hit it a little harder. Proverbs nineteen seventeen. Whoever <laughs> is it the right verse? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he started oh, the top. Woo. I yeah. just got lightheaded for a second. I laughed too hard there. I need some water today. Okay. Whoever yeah. is kind to the poor, poor lends to the Lord, and He will reward them for what they have done. Now, tell me this. Do it say anything about drugs or say anything about prostitution? Whoever lends to the poor, whoever gives to the poor, lends to God. To the poor, not to the drug addicts. To the poor. Not to the drug addicts. To the poor. There's a difference between poor and drug addicts. Yeah, that's right. You can be both. (laughs) You You can be a sinner saved by grace. And you can be a sinner poor. You can be a sinner rich. You can be a sinner working class. Come on, brother. But can you be a saved by grace and a drug addict? So you only giving the Christians? Can uh, you, no, no, no. Uh, can you be saved by grace and be a drug addict? Answer my question. You, you, you oh, they can say you can. yes. You can. You okay. can. Okay. Now, let me hit, you know what? You can. You know what? You can. You're right. Yeah. I, now, I agree with that. I, I now, you can. how about this? If I get my money knowing somebody's on drugs, because God don't want you to be stupid as well, okay? Okay. And he told you not to be foolish. Right. Okay? Now, if I know this person is on drugs, a fiend 
Yeah. And he's asking me for money. Absolutely. And I give him the money, and he don't get nothing to eat. He just go buy more drugs, and I've seen him do it. And he comes to me again, asking for more money. Why? Should I give it to him? Oh, oh, we got an opinion. NW20. I had the opportunity to be behind the scenes. Yo! Yo! We're, we're enjoying that comment for today. You might um, <laughs> if you haven't noticed already, we got um, one or two people in the studio with us. We got um, Malik and my sister Jamara. They're in the uh, behind the scenes part of the studio. And uh, we always glad to have them on the show and stuff um, and everything. Um, <laughs> World of Controversy <laughs> podcast, the podcast that brings you all forms a controversy. My name is Jerem Griffin. We got the great and powerful Julian Robb on the track. Yes, yes, yes. The great and powerful J. Robb the Great. Now, what I was saying though is I'm not giving to somebody that's just gonna go on drugs. If I give you my money, you either gotta do something with either get you something to eat. Whoa. What? That's a little weird. No, no, no. I'm saying you either go get yourself something to eat. I'm fine with feeding you. Um, see, I don't like this already. So you don't like this? Why? Why can't they do with their money what they want to do? And it goes because, back to what because, my because because being hooked on drugs, right? Being hooked on drugs, you're supporting somebody that's killing off their own. Their own minds, their own body, and their own community, brother. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we we about the community, brother, right? Uh, so okay, are we going to support the drug addicts? Brother, we're supporting the community drug dealer. What you mean? I don't support the community drug dealer. Oh, you, you can don't? do that, but I don't. Here's my thing, Rob. Now, there are some situations, and, and it goes back to Quan comments, that's a decision you have to talk with God about. I like where he's coming from with that. Oh, and, thank you, because I do talk to God about it. Absolutely. Galatians 5, uh, <laughs> last verse. Uh, if you live by the Spirit, live by the Spirit, also walk by the Spirit. You need to walk by the Spirit, correct? Ah, uh, yes, and now walk by the Spirit. Oh, man. And the Spirit... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. And the Spirit will tell me. Who to give to and who not to give to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Um, okay. Absolutely. Rob, you want to say something really quick? So, yes. Right now, we're going to take a little quick break real quick. But stay tuned. We're still going to be live on Instagram. And I'm going to entertain y'all for real quick. Okay. Yes, absolutely, because, because this is what we do new on the show. This is what we do. This is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do. This is what we do now. And, um, yeah, okay. Well, we'll catch y'all right back um, after this short break. After this short break. We're back. We're back. We're the Controversy Podcast. Absolutely. NW20. Come on, doesn't God know your heart when you giving? Wow. We got some comments today. What well, a controversy podcast, hmm. episode thirty six. We got Jerm Griffin and J Rob on the track. We're talking about homelessness. Who to give your money to? Because you got money. We know y'all got some bread. You know what I mean. And uh, you, you know what I mean. Who to really give your money to? Now, how about this, my brother? So, do you, what about giving them food out your house? What about that? Doesn't that count as giving to the poor? It does. Mm. So do you always have to give money? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um. Mm. <laughs> Controversy, brother. Here's Controversy. my thing about you people. Oh, I get food. Oh, my goodness, I get food. What about if you can give them some clothes? I give my time. All that stuff is great. And I give my time and money and clothes. All that is good, too. But I want to really talk about sacrifice. But those are sacrifices. It, is it? Is it? Because it sounds like you're trying to do everything except for give them money. 
Bro, see, the, the Bible said give, but at, but giving is not only just money. It's not always monetary things. Hey, <laughs> come on, brother. This this is controversy, but this is some real stuff. Give and it will come back to you. Yes, good give, measure. Good measure. Press down, press down, shake it together. Shake it together. Run yes, it over. running over. I'm with you on that. What? So if I give them, what you give them will come back. So whatever you give is good. Uh. But what's gonna come back is relative to what you're giving. Okay. So if I give them a meal, a poor person starving. All they're looking for is something to eat. And I give them a meal. A million dollars. I said a meal. A million a mil. dollars. Not a million dollars. One million dollars. dollars. I don't got no you million. I gave them dollars. one million dollars. I gave them a million that they can Millie. eat. A, a meal. Millie. A mi yo, stop trying to do that, yo. Stop. <laughs> you said a meal. No, I said M I L L. No, a meal. <laughs> M E A L. Okay, you give now, them a meal. I give them a meal. And they. Have something to eat. Fill their bellies up. I just gave to the poor. I help a poor person. But is that just you checking off a list? Is it just checking off a list? Because no, God sees your heart. Yes. And my heart is really giving them something to eat to sustain them. And if I give them the clothes off my back. Have you ever done that? Yes. The clothes off your back. The clothes off my back. A homeless person sees your Dragon Ball Z shirt. <laughs> uh, see, now I'm getting real. Hey. Now you have to really ask because there's been times, <laughs> listen, I, I've i been down bad where, you know what I mean, since you on that episode with Erica once, I'm like, oh man, sometimes people down bad. Let me talk about me being down bad. Times where I was like, yo, yeah, we all we can bring up that episode. <laughs> that one in the grits, I think we're going to refer to forever. <laughs> But um, hey, so no, real though. So, I've I've had very little money, but don't you get conviction? Like maybe that's me. Get conviction when you see a poor person. Like yo, I have it. Why am I not giving some type of money to this person? No. Like really. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. There is sometimes where conviction happened where I didn't give to somebody. Yeah. Okay. So, I ain't gonna lie, there is sometimes there is some conviction. And sometimes there is none because sometimes there's some of these people just, just not trying to help themselves. But why does their, the consideration of them helping themselves have anything to do with you giving to them? Because if they're not trying to help themselves, you can just be giving, 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 and Ain't nothing helping them. <laughs> okay. Right? Uh, I, if a drug addict is on drugs, right? And we are giving him money, right? Because okay. we want to help him better himself, right? Okay. Him or she, right? And they take the money to get more drugs. And you're giving them money off money after money. You're breaking your pockets trying to help them. Get off their feet, right? Okay. But they're not gonna get off their feet because they buy their own drugs. So how you, how is that looking, brother? I hear you. Because I'm the truthful, I'll be wasting my money. I hear you. That that's what you're saying. Yes. And God would say that ain't that too. I I don't know if that's right. I don't think He wants you to support bad habits. Uh, you're saying, okay, one thing to be a bad habit, another thing to say, nothing's going to come out of it. Let's go to Hebrews 13, mm, verse you, 1, like the Hebrews. verse 2. Well, you think you're a Jew, so that's why you're know <laughs> Hebrews. Uh, um, Hebrews 13, verse 1, and verse 2. Nigel said, right, though. He, he with me on it. Nigel Thank you, Nigel. Coming. There you go. Let brotherly love continue. Verse 2, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby mm. some have entertained angels, angels unawares. Brother, do you know that's one of my favorite scriptures? And I know that scripture. That's why 
That's why I do give to these poor. I have prayed with poor people. I have prayed with homeless people. So what if one of these poor people were disguised as a drug addict? What of these poor people were described as what, a One of these angels, excuse me. One of these angels. One of these angels. I doubt the angel will be this. this I doubt the angel will be looking disguised, like, disguised as a drug addict. Okay, I'm a homeless person. But at the same time, you can tell who's a drug addict and who's not. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. I, I'm not even sure if I completely agree with you. Now, I, I, I agree to a certain All extent, right. of course. But a fiend, right? Okay, a fiend. You know a fiend. Which is a what? type of drug addict. It just, a not drug all addict. drug addicts are fiends. All right. Um, all right. You fiends are one of the worst of well, the worst. Fiends, so let's, I'm going to go with the fiends, right? Okay, let's talk about them. You know, when, you know a fiend when you see it. I, of course. You can see a fiend from a mile away. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The fiend telling you they're a fiend almost. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not the laugh. And then be trying to get you to support their habits by supporting. Now, how about this, brother? A drug addict, right? Right. And let's say... I'm going to bring... I'm going to go even further, my brother. Okay. What about um, fake homeless people? Oh, <laughs> okay. And again, it goes back to that scripture, though. What if some of them are angels? Now, what if some of them are people? Literally some of them faking are people. It. Faking it. And there's people that are like that because they see that these homeless people get people to donate for them. So they want to fake like they're homeless to get some money. Uh, as you know, I did some research on this episode, you know, some Bible research, but I also talk, got a chance to talk to uh, two, three different homeless people or people really down bad. And I asked them, I said, should you give to every homeless person? And the response was not exactly what I thought. So I only asked two, two actual homeless people and, and I, you know, talked with some other people who I questioned were actually down bad. Um, but uh ooh. Ooh, sorry. I um I wanna talk about the um the one response, you know, the one guy was practically saying some people <laughs> you know <laughs> going back to your argument, some people want to be homeless. Well some people want to stay in that state. Mm. You know, making the argument that like, why would you give to someone who wants to stay in that state? Another person told me if you have the money to give, give. You need to give. Um, you know, whether they're drug addicts or not, but then after asking them about, um, you know, do you think there are some homeless people who want to stay so homeless? So what if you don't have the they say, money yeah. to give? Excuse me? What if you don't have the money to give? What if you don't have the money to give? If you don't have the money to give, then you're probably just as bad as they are. <laughs> we need to be giving but to but you. That's Let what me I know. was saying earlier, but Let me you know. know, you fool it. Let me know. Um, but a lot of y'all do have money to give. A lot of y'all are spending out, eating out every other day, if not every other meal. Look, if Robinson. You got, if you, oh no, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't, don't try to go there, bro. Because you're the number one player talking no, all that down no, bad stuff. No, no, oh yeah, no, bro. I'm at the. I'm like, dang, bro. You over there? Okay. <laughs> Brother, I'll be getting the cheapest thing. Stop playing. Uh, okay, Cheesecake Factory. Uh, brother, brother, see, how many times you see me at the Cheesecake Factory? Okay. All right, Cinnabon. Yo, now you want to pull out the Cinnabon? Oh, man. Now that's your... You know, couldn't that go to some homeless bull? Some homeless woman could have won that Cinnabon. Am I bro, wrong? I, 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 need uh, to eat. I need to eat, brother. Okay. <laughs> listen, I'm not knocking you. You know, I love. I, listen, I love eating out. You know, I'm a foodie. Um, right. But it, it goes back to. I'm just saying. You know, sometimes we're hypocritical. You know what I mean? Have we right. ever thought about what that homeless person was eating the day? All right, all right. Now, how, how about this, brother? I'm I'm about to bring the real controversy. Okay. Because I've been I'm waiting not, for it. I'm done playing games right now, brother. So you said, should we get to every poor person, right? I believe so. Now, us here, I'm about to go to the economic class on this. Us here at the bottom, right? The poor working class. Okay, I love it. We don't have enough to give to every poor person. No. 
No, we don't. No. And help ourselves. But what y'all really need is to go into the middle class and the higher ups, the I upper know. class, the people that are making that money. Because yeah. they need to give. I know. Then, if they give, it's enough to feed this homeless. I know. It's enough to get these homeless people off the streets. Yeah. I, I do agree. And, and when you, we look at the economics, that's why I'm so, like, kind of torn to a certain extent. Obviously not the most on this issue, um, but I do agree. There's some economic things to consider. And the first thing is, you're right, a lot of us that even the homeless people are seeing day-to-day -day are poor working class, meaning that yes. they're wage workers. They're putting in time at their job for a wage and a certain amount of money. They own nothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There is no ownership in wage work, really. You no, know what I mean? The only not. thing you own is your is your uh, with labor. And you're giving that out to a nine to five. You know what I mean? So and, and these and these workers, working class, are living paycheck to so paycheck, paycheck. Paying bills, trying to survive, trying to Trying to eat, trying to make sure their kids are good. Right. My argument is, though, we live in such comfortability, even as work wage workers, that when you see something, somebody in such an uncomfortable state, does that not also make you feel uncomfortable? Okay. You may have a point there. Like, I can't walk by these people and be like, all right, let me go home and watch my Netflix. I'd be like, dang. This person may not even be sleeping on a bed tonight. Yeah, I might be a wage worker. Yeah, I, 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 I own my labor and I don't own nothing else. But, dang. Love yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. This is the greatest commandment. In this, Love your you neighbor as yourself. You, sat, you satisfy the law and the prophets. Dang, this is this is uh this episode is so saturated in scripture. It's not even funny. You need to hit one of them before the end of it, man. Brother, I already hit one. Hit me with it. Go ahead, bro. But let's let's hit another one. Okay. Brother. All right. I know you preach today, but you ain't out of it yet. <laughs> Jim, brother. We're the Conspiracy Podcast, episode thirty six. I'm having a really good time talking about. Should we give to every homeless person? Of course, you can comment live, WOC underscore podcast on Instagram, WOC underscore pod on Twitter, or the Controversy Podcast on Facebook. What you got, Rob? Hold on, my brother. I got something. Hey, yo. Dave Dice. Dave Dice said, hey, yo, listen, if you need a good uh, PUBG partner on the side, you know what I mean, hit up Dave Dice underscore 96. That boy play some PUBG. Stop playing with him. Should we give the every homeless person? More controversial in the church than you may think. Um, I try to give some bread out to him. I don't go broke, by the way. When you really give, I learned that as a kid with my uh, uncle and I. When you really give, you don't really go broke. You know what I mean? And I understand the tithes thing, okay, give to your church. But when you really give, jeez, you don't really go broke. Dave Dice said, you know that's right. I don't know what he referring to, PUBG or giving to the homeless people. But either way, you know that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've had some of the greatest conversations with the poor down bad and homeless um and and they they actually you know what i mean i got some friends who are i would people i would say great associates um kind hearts um, that are literally um living worse than paycheck to paycheck um and uh yeah yeah i, I just want to admit that you know really talk to these people you can give your time talents um you know, I mean, have a conversation with some of them and see that they're real people for sure. But also give them some money. That's that's my consideration to you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say this, all right? We all... I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Absolutely. 
I'm for giving to the poor. Okay. But, like I said, I don't think we can give to every poor person. No. Especially if you're poor yourself. You can help somebody. Yes. Help some people. But, can you save the world? Mm. That's that's the question right there. There's a verse in the Bible that says you will they will know you by how they how you love each other. Mm -hmm. They will know that you're Jesus Christ by the way you love each other. So the first thing I want to say, if you can't give to the poor, do not ignore the poor. We mm -hmm. definitely can't do that. Someone ask, don't look the other way. At least give them a reason why you can't give. Well, how about the one of the greatest things you can give is your time. I agree. Because they got to know that you care. I agree. So, giving your time helps. Giving your time helps when it comes to preaching the gospel. Absolutely. Because that's how you get somebody in. Okay. Yes. So the greatest thing you can give is your time. One of the greatest, okay. Mm -hmm. And capitalistic planet, I guess, time is super important. Time, time is money, is some have said. Yes, it is. Some have gone as far to say time is money. Wow. I, I, look, Rob. You know what I mean? Me and you, you know, we could disagree, but I think it goes back to giving something. You are giving something. You're giving something. You're giving something indeed. Some type of acknowledgement. I want to hit on that mental health thing for a quick second, too, and being a good steward of your money. Uh, team, I feel like we've referenced him on more episodes than almost anybody. I was talking to him once, and he said something to the, um, to the uh, point of, you know, people blame the, you know, the mental health reason, and that's why they're homeless. That's why they're not, they don't have a house, a wife, you know, they lost their job because they got mental health problems. And he, he kind of said, what if being homeless gives you mental health problems? Mm. He said, you're on the street. Imagine you being on the street asking for help and no one helping you. In fact, people ignoring you. And you thought, okay, I'm, I might be on the street, but someone's going to at least acknowledge me. Would that not make you a little crazy? I'll never forget him saying this. And, uh, you know, every time I look at it and, and kind of talk to some of my homeless uh, people that I know or, or some of the poor people I know, I'm like, yo, <laughs> that's really something to think about. The other thing I want to talk about is the, um, is the, uh, what I want to talk about? I want to be talk about being a good steward. You know, I'm just, I'm not saying this is biblical. I'm not saying, you know, well, there's some biblical principles. I'm not telling you, forcing you, commanding you. If you get a paycheck, if you got a job, if you're getting consistent money, I think everyone needs to at least allocate or be ready to allocate some of that money to other people or to your church. Or to a Christian organization trying to do the Lord's will. Or go about doing the Great Commission. Preaching and baptizing people in the name of Jesus Christ. Now that's me personally. I think if you're getting consistent funds, being a good steward, a good idea would be set aside some type of percentage. Or be willing to give or already let the Lord know some of this money I'm going to give to God. Some of this money I'm going to give to people less fortunate than me. Some of this money I'm going to give to my church. I'm not telling you the time. I'm not even telling you that's a complete command for the church. I'm just saying some of that money you should already be looking at. Like, I'm, if you're planning on saving and all this, why not also plan to give some of that money? Mm. Especially if you're making consistent money. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just saying. That's my last word. Rob? I'm going I'm to hit on this. This scripture right here. Okay. First Samuel chapter two, verse eight. Love it. You know what? 
I'm going to do verse 7 and 8. Awesome. It says, The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and he exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heaps to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. Mm. We're going to end on that good note right there. Wow. wow. Love it. Yeah. Rob, good episode indeed. Um, wow. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Yes. I'm glad to be back, Julian. Oh, it's great to be back. This was a great episode. Now, follow the World of Controversy. WC underscore pod on Instagram. WOC underscore pod on Twitter, right? Yep. And WC underscore pod on YouTube and the World of Controversy podcast on Facebook and World of Controversy podcast on um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere you find a podcast, Anchor, all that good stuff. This is your boy, Jay Rob. And Jerem Griffin. This is to end our show. Can we, what's this, a little theme song or something, you know? Can we say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.